Yo, guys, yes, and I lost the footage again. I spoke for 20 minutes and I lost the footage. Like, I seriously don't know what to do anymore. Like, I just, I, I, I properly don't have a recording device. I need to come up with a strategy to record my footage and still not lose it. I, I don't know what I need to do. Like, I seriously have no clue what I gotta do. That, like, I, I can't, I, I can't even imagine it i can't fathom it so now i have to repeat what i was talking and it's already 2043 going on 9 p.m at night and i haven't worked out i i need to exercise i feel like people are coming against everything of mine trying to prevent me from basically surviving anyway i will try and keep this succinct because i am intending on exercising come hell or high waters even if it's just an hour that i'm going to get in instead of the whole like se se session <sighs> I was talking about I don't even know where to start but let's just seal this and finish it hopefully this content saves if it doesn't I'm gonna be so sad I'm, I'm gonna get so emotional like I'm just gonna be so sad but anyway whatever I was talking about legalization legalizing of witchcraft how it is that we are living in this 21st century where it is that witchcraft is is legal it wasn't broken they fixed it and as a result of sorcery not being regulated nobody truly has protection i spoke about how as a mother you can tell your daughter to dress modestly so as to not attract the, the, the like wrong attention to herself you can advise your daughter to be home by 4 p.m you can advise your daughter to not talk to strangers you can advise your children to lock all the doors when when they come home Tell them to change the security code every three days, three to four days, so as to make sure nobody breaks in. You can train your children all different kinds of things and if your kids are good girls and good boys, they will listen, they will heed your instruction and so keep themselves out of harm's way. They therefore on that day, uh, if, 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 if they have listened to you when you told them not to walk in strange corridors, they can protect themselves from the rapist lurking in those corridors. They can protect themselves by being home on time from being afflicted by the, the vagrant on the street that's always pouncing on school children. But when your daughter is ensconced comfortably incubated in her blanket at night as a 17 year old, when she is then stealthily crept into by some 21 year old freak that has been salivating over her wants her no matter what come hell or high waters and then decides that he's going to use witchcraft to get to her who under heaven is going to get guard dogs against that what alarm system is going to eradicate that what a counsel to uh, not talk to strangers and avoid rubbish it's going to protect your daughter against that. I spoke about how the road is narrow that leads to life and few people find it. Meaning that only a few percentage of people on the earth have any true real weapons that can actually protect against witchcraft. Christians. The majority of the world is unfortunately not saved. And so the majority of your daughters and your sons, your moms, your dads, your aunties, the teachers in schools are basically subjugated to the tyranny of witchcraft being all up in their grill. They can capitulate to it and they don't have weapons to fight it. So you will be dealing with a chaste woman that, that wants to keep herself pure. You know, up until, as on matric, a girl that wants to stay a virgin up until the end of matric. She's not guarded by the Holy Spirit. It is just a moral decision she is making. You will find this girl capitulating to an orgy because like five boys in her school that wanted to spite her for being a goody two-shoes virgin wanted to to toss her around in an orgy and these days instead of slipping actual rufalin into your drink they just do a ritual a seance and cause her to be so dizzy that next thing she's literally falling apart from lust in the presence of five boys that she sleeps with the first time first time in her life she breaks her virginity with five guys in an orgy her life is ruined from that stage and you as a mother there's nothing that you can do because she doesn't know christ you don't know christ you don't know what the solution is you just think your daughter turned whore overnight when even in the in and of herself she does not know how in the world she ended up in that position that's witchcraft for you nobody is regulating it people are getting exactly what they want there is currently an epidemic of hiv positive men men in particular men in particular that because of their hiv status know that their dating pool prospects have been shallowed and so before they even try to ask a woman or date a woman and so therefore gauge if she would be okay with being with an hiv positive guy they're already just gonna just cast spells on any girl they like any girl they have a crush on to embrace and accommodate them just as holy Joalo, messing with her mental constitution causing her to put her life in, in danger settling for that 
they spread their disease all over the show using witchcraft knowing that even the most careful of women that will never ever sleep with a guy that she does not know this hiv status of without protection knowing that they can basically cause that woman to lose her mind for five seconds people in the world i'm speaking about people in the world if you're in christ you're not fornicating you're chaste if you're in christ you don't fall under such traps but the majority of the world is not saved that's what i'm getting at that's what i'm getting at so this is why this stuff needs regulation when your governments will not regulate witchcraft when your president does not think that it is an epidemic against the country's economy because he doesn't recognize how many witches are disenfranchising entire economic souls people that are able to contribute to the economy aren't able to start businesses they aren't able to get proper like just basic jobs they aren't able to make to, to try to profit in anything everything that they touch falls apart because some auntie is jealous how a president does not see that that can have consequences on the country's economy is beyond me the stuff is unregulated all that Cyril Ramaphosa is looking at when it comes to witchcraft are human sacrifice rituals satanic rituals in other words that are done where people are killed that's the only thing they're worried about because now physical blood is being spilled but what about all the spells cast to destroy people's careers to take women's wombs all the spells cast to cause women to have miscarriages all the spells cast to sow discord between um, husband and wife destroying marriages what about all those what about the cantankerous chaos that is being caused in the country because of the spells on a multiplier when you add a multiplier to them how many people how many millions of people in a country have suffered loss and want because of witchcraft my unemployment is a travesty i can't say that enough it is a travesty and yet i am walking in it anyway because some witches have made a decision that i don't get to live i don't get to work i don't get to contribute to the country's economy i don't get to have south africa be proud of me as something that has been exported out of the country as one of its gems i don't get to be cited in magazine articles for something that is a pioneering innovation that i have made that i have come up with given that i'm one of the stars of the country born here i don't get to flex the muscle that god gave me naturally in a country that would have been proud to be associated with me if they had let me strive if they had let me thrive if they had let me live and, bl and blossom and buxom they would have been able to name drop me name call me say garabo is ours and yet i'm sitting in a country that refuses to let people like me get to where they need to get they go and they grab an entire genie geniuses and make that make it impossible for them to work there is no guard dog you can use to protect you against that no amount of changing the alarm system in your house ever gonna keep a witch out there is no regulation for it the bible says do not suffer the witch to live but the world has not only suffered the witches to live but they've also proliferated their random rubbish in all different kinds of spheres of society they are able to speak about it freely they are able to come out in the entertainment industry as abandaba twasile they are able to albeit being spiritual women manipulators of people's entire destinies able to thrive they are thieves they're embezzlers they're human traffickers they they've got a bad criminal rap sheet but because it's anonymous and unseen all those women that they've peddled all those people they have trafficked all those children that whose futures they have stolen and nobody sees it like there are witches who in order to get ahead they carry sex prosperity through the prosperity of their own children every kid that comes out of, their, out of their womb is destined to be a failure in life because mom had to become a mayor in the country a mayor of the city so i mean when you've already destroyed children's destinies before they can walk in them what must we do with you what what must we do with you on that day what must we do with you the bible says do not suffer a wish to live this stuff is not regulated if at all maybe our governments had regulated it god might have mercy on our countries if our governments had put a leash on what wishes can do then perhaps the lord might give the world time but while you are taking god's grace for granted thinking that he is slow not realizing that he's not slow as some count slowness but he is patient not willing that anybody should perish but that all should come to a knowledge of him he will suddenly then lambaste you with a rapture he will lambaste you with taking away christians and then finally decimating two-thirds of the earth's population to show you that he was serious when he said do not suffer a witch to live in the book of revelation when plagues fall on people it is written that they neither repent of their sorceries their fornications their blasphemings etc but you see even though they are stubborn recalcitrant still taking the mark of the beast by the time the tribulation ends god will have killed two-thirds of the human race and not a single witch is going to be able to enter the millennial reign of jesus christ not even one so basically god is going to fulfill his own word where he says 
do not suffer a wish to live because there won't be even a single one alive at the beginning of the millennial reign of Jesus Christ and there will not be anyone that ever conjures up an idea to do witchcraft in the millennial reign that will live for too long they will not be endured they will not be just suffered taken in there in one's stride the day is going to arrive when there is no witchcraft in the land and anyone that tries to conjure it up will immediately die because the word of God is here to be fulfilled. The Lord did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. So Lona Baloyang, to a point of causing women to live in solitude, devastation and isolation at the backs of their mother's houses, gathering dust, unable to come up for air for the rest of their lives. You are incredibly naive. The only reason why under heaven, my mother, my sister, my cousin, my uncle, my aunts, my cousins, my whole crew of friends from high school, some of my friends from varsity, some of my former colleagues, some of the people with whom I used to live in the same complex, some of some strangers, acquaintances that I met in Jafela for five seconds in a clubhouse in a complex where I used to live. The reason why they are not dead is because if at all the Lord were to kill witches as indeed they deserve death, there would be too many people dying before the rapture subjugating all of us to a whole bunch of trauma sorrow and terror do you understand before it's time for trauma sorrow and terror to reign all over the planet it's not yet time there are too many of you there are eight billion people on the earth more or less almost and out of them there are i don't know how many witches but it's a lot if at all they were all to die it would be too cataclysmic for this earth to be a going concern with any level of ease so God is waiting for the perfect time to fulfill the law that do not suffer a witch to live. And that opportune time is the tribulation. He is going to finish every last one of you off. I asked him this morning, why do you continue to let that animal from America live? Why can't he just catch a stray bullet or something? Why won't you just take him out of the way? Look at what he's doing to me and my family. And all that I got from God was, if I kill him, I'd have to kill your mom. I'd have to kill your sisters, your sister. I would have to kill your cousins. I would have to kill your uncle. I would have to kill your aunts. I would have to kill your former colleagues, all of them. I would have to kill your whole crew of friends. All of them drop them dead in one sitting. And if I did that now, there would be too much death and this world would come to a blistering end as we know it. I am God. I have my own season and I have my own times. I will do it as I have ordered. I will indeed fulfill my law. As for you, wait on me. As for you, be patient. Do not fear. Do not front at the one who prospers in his way. That animal in the US will never get you, but he will continue to poke and prod away at you for as long as he imagines I am not here for you. He will ultimately get his day in court. But before then, he will be pompous. He will be arrogant. He will think that you need to go and beg and grovel at his feet when David was young and then he got old. Yet never had he seen the righteous forsaken nor his children begging for bread. I indeed do agree with you, Garabo. You should not suffer a wish to live. And your desire for their imminent demise is holy it is a holy wrath they are disastrous but there is a time for everything only go read the book of Ecclesiastes there's a time for peace and there's a time for war right now is a time for grace and they're running out of it like at the speed of lightning they are fast running out of grace and when it's gone they're gonna know cuz I'm gonna remove my restrainer and then I'm gonna kill them drop them like dominoes one by one and if they don't repent even after the rapture there will be not even one of them left at the end of the tribulation. Watch this space. Signing out on Christ's name, Crane K. Bye.